Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Up early and getting ready to to go work out. And um, I'm gonna take you guys on a journey. It's a few things we're doing today. Um, like I said previously, working out. Then after that, have to throw away some trash. A lot of boxes that I still have for moving in. And we're also gonna visit a couple of stores today. And we're gonna take you guys along that journey. So we'll keep you guys posted. What's up family? Just finishing or coming to the end of my workout. And at the end of every workout, I like to end with walking on a treadmill for a little bit. But while I was on a treadmill, I had a quick thought about learning and the power of knowledge. You know, the Bible say my people perish because of the lack of knowledge. That's a powerful statement. I thought about it because I seek after information all the time. Even while I'm on a treadmill, I'm reading articles, checking different websites, because I like learning. Most of the time I'm listening to some type of podcast. But as a history major, I studied history in college and one thing I would see all the time is that whenever an opposing country was going to take over another colony or another nation, when they got there to take over the first thing they did was burn their books. And it's almost like, that was always so interesting to me because why would you burn their books when you go over there? Why would you, but that, I mean, that's the first thing you do. It's because the leaders knew if they start reading their history books, they're gonna find out that their country was oppressed before. Their colony was oppressed before and they started a revolution and won their freedom. So if I can strip the knowledge, I can strip their ability to fight. And I was just thinking about that, man. Whatever area you are ignorant in, you will suffer in. So never stop learning, never stop growing, because the day you stop learning, that's when you die. All right, guys, we're getting ready to get off this treadmill. I'm headed back to my house, and I'm gonna clean up some trash some boxes that I had from, from unboxing things yesterday, and we'll go from there. Just got finished taking all the trash out, and, um, oh, before I keep going, look at that bad boy there. That's, that's, that's my favorite part of the house, the, the TV. It's a uh, 75 inch. I need to get these things right here. Uh, I'm reaching the wrong way on camera. <laughs> That's weird. But anyway, I got to get this little string right here. I got to put them up because the ceiling fan is so high. This is my favorite part of the house, that, that 75 inch back there, because it's right there uh, below the fireplace right there. And so it's really, really dope at night. But a lot to do over here in that corner over there. I still got to put the Xbox together. And the other speaker is the internet and the um, surround sound. And so, still got a lot to do. In the corner right here, I still got these boxes that I need to put together. And so, still a lot of work to do. Let me show you this too over here. I still have, like I say, pieces that I gotta get done. But overall, I'm happy that I'm in. I'm happy that, um, that I got to sleep here last night. And I can deal with putting the things together every day. I just, I was just ready to actually get in the house. The next steps for today is going to visit a few stores. Mm, I think we're gonna go to Walmart, HEB, and Home Depot, if I'm not mistaken. And I have to go out a post office to pick up keys. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do all of that, but I'm going to try my best, too. So I'm going to keep you guys posted. Stay tuned.
We just now leaving Walmart and um, who was supposed to get a couple of things. And I ain't gonna tell y'all what the receipt said. Let's just say it's a couple hundred dollars worth of things. So that's what shopping with Ashton is like. Nah, I'm just playing, but we have to get stuff for the, um, for the house, um, some bathroom stuff, some kitchen stuff. But it just sparked the thought about inflation. I spent almost $500 at Walmart. And to me, we didn't get that much stuff. But that is what inflation is. The price of, of goods and services go up while the value of the dollar goes down. So just a quick thought on that. In order to beat inflation, some smart things that we can do are investing into real estate, investing into the stock market, obviously um, increasing income and putting money into assets because when you do that, then your money will beat the rate of inflation because your assets will increase over time. All right, we got a few more stops, and I'll keep you guys posted. All right, guys, just got finished eating at Panera. It was pretty good. Um, headed to Academy. These are the last two stops of the video. Heading to Academy, see if I can find a shirt. And also after that, headed to HEB to end the day. But I had a quick thought about us being, me and Ashlyn being a interracial couple. get one look sometimes the looks of hatred sometimes the looks of disgust just because we have two different skin colors so that prompted a thought in me racism still exists but racism does not stop you a lot of times people use race as an excuse not to go forward in life two different thoughts i had the first thought is that racism is definitely real but it does not stop you from going forward in life and the thing that tripped me out more than anything is that a lot of these people claim to be christians like you understand you understand that if you go um to heaven there's gonna be other races there and you can't have hatred in your heart and still get to heaven so I th it's just a frustrating thing that we encounter all the time right and that is that when we go out i mean it can be at the mall it can be eating. Heck, it can be at some churches. When they see us together, you see the looks and you see the, the tension and the animosity that people feel just because we have different colors. And I'm not naive. I understand that in American history, America has some great things about their history, but we got some ugly things about our history. And some of the ugly things about our history is this thing called slavery. And some people still have those mentalities. But for every one person that think like that, we meet 20, 30, 40 people who totally embrace, and, totally embrace us, totally support us. And so that's a random thought I had. Racism still exists, but racism cannot stop you. All right, guys, my last stop is here at HEB. It's been such a long day. I told Ashlyn, just go in, get the stuff. I'm gonna chill in the car, shoot this last video. Been a long day, but it's also been a productive day. So I wanna thank you guys for taking a journey with me. And I'm gonna continue to post different videos showing you my daily life and got a lot of exciting vacations coming up, a lot of exciting things coming up, so stay tuned. Before I end this video, I wanna encourage you guys to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Our new goal is to reach 700 subscribers, and um, I really want to reach that goal before the end of the month. So do me a favor, share this video, like it, drop comments below, 
let me know what you think about this style of videos if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching for me email me at larry wilson 194 at yahoo.com and i'm gonna get you scheduled for a coaching call i love you guys have an awesome day